I got to tell you, you know, I, I want to put out a call to people because I was going to do this show and now I'm not going to do it because something came up uh, preventing us from doing it. Yes, we're afraid. No, we're not afraid. But uh, the person that we were going to do the show with has declined, and I and I, and I don't I I totally understand their reason for declining. But I I know a couple of people who own drones, and I know people who are using drones for very different purposes. Like um, I have one friend who uses them in his business to uh, you know just get an overview of neighborhoods. He's a realtor. And, and it's, I don't know why I can't just use Google Earth, but uh, he has a drone. I know another guy who basically sells drones at, uh, at the gun shows. You know, he sells these little drones. People buy them, and I don't know what they use them for. Some people are spying on their spouses, and other people use them just like uh, any other camera device, I guess. And some people just like playing with those motorized airplanes. When my son was young, that was his big thing was... Uh, motorized boats and motorized airplanes with remote controls and now they're pretty snazzy you know they can like you know go on missions and stuff but there's some new regulation coming down the pike and they're going to be charging people and fining people for using these drones in any commercial enterprise i mean why why would you tell a business person that they would pay a fine if they get caught using a drone for a legitimate business purpose. Now, you can regulate it all you want and say it can't fly over 22 feet. Or I, I mean, I'm sure that there are uh, important regulations. You don't want them flying like birds into airplanes that are taking off at Fort Lauderdale International Airport or Palm Beach International or Miami, right? But what if you're just using a drone in a, uh, in a sort of non-traditional but uh, very effective business way? Here we go again. Why, you know, here's a few things to consider. Um, let's say that, uh, oh, I'll give you a perfect example. This was given to me. We're standing at the corner of Broward Boulevard and 3rd. As you know, I've held a lot of rallies there, and I've actually been videotaped giving a lot of speeches on that corner. So we're standing there, and my friend is rolling video of the event with a drone. And, 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 we, and, and there's another guy who's doing the same thing with a handheld video camera, and they both upload their videos to YouTube for everybody to see. But my friend forwards a link of his video to me, and I post it to my blog. Does that now make the operation in the eyes of the FAA commercial? Because that's exactly what it does. And it would make my friend pay a $10,000 fine if he doesn't stop doing it. Let's say a farmer buys a miniature remote control helicopter. He's just measuring the moisture content of his fields and to spray his crops, and he flies it over his own property at 50 feet or less, a very low altitude. Is that a commercial operation? Yeah, according to the FAA, and it's a $10,000 fine. But the really sadistic part about this is the FAA actually used a search by drone operator who was trying to find a missing two-year-old child to shut down the drone operator who was working with Texas EquiSearch because the FAA deemed it to be a commercial operation. I don't know. They let some companies use them. That's right. They let uh, the Motion Picture Association can use dr drones. You know, Hollywood always gets a pass on everything. I just, I, I just, I'm so tired of them over and over and over again telling me what I cannot, cannot, can or cannot do, what they consider commercial and not commercial. It's scary how much of our freedoms they're attacking. Now, they're going to 